morning. My name is Miss Allison and I'm your art teacher. Welcome to our first art class. Our learning target, what we're going to work on today, is I can make artwork safely and independently. When I say independently, I mean by myself. When I say safely, I mean carefully so that the art materials are, are good, so that I'm good. The first thing that we're going to do today is watch a quick video about a book called Harold and the Purple Crayon. some time, Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. There wasn't any moon. And Harold needed a moon for a walk in the moonlight. And he needed something to walk on. He made a long straight path, but so he wouldn't get lost. And he set off on his walk, taking his big purple crayon with him. But he didn't seem to be getting anywhere on the long straight path. So he left the path, but for a shortcut across the field, and the moon went with him. The shortcut led right to where Harold thought a forest ought to be. He didn't want to get lost in the woods. So he made a very small forest with just one tree in it. It turned out to be an apple tree. The apples would be very tasty, Harold thought, when they got red. So he put a frightening dragon under the tree to guard the apples. His hand holding the purple crayon shook. Suddenly he realized what was happening. But by then, Harold was over his head in an ocean. He came up thinking fast. He quickly set sail. After he'd sailed long enough, Harold made land without much trouble. He stepped ashore on the beach, wondering where he was. The sandy beach reminded Harold of picnics, and the thought of picnics made him hungry. There were all nine kinds of pie that Harold liked best. When Harold finished his picnic, there was quite a lot left over. So Harold left a very hungry moose and a deserving porcupine to finish it up. he went, looking for a hill to climb, to see where he was. Harold knew that the higher up he went, the farther he could see. It 
If he went high enough, he thought, he could see the window of his bedroom. He was tired, and he felt he ought to be getting to bed. But as he looked down over the other side, he slipped. Luckily, he kept his wits and his purple crayon. view from the balloon, but he couldn't see his window. He couldn't even see a house. So he made a house with windows. None of the windows was his window. He made small windows. He made lots of buildings full of windows. He made a whole city full of windows. But none of the windows was his window. might be. He decided to ask a policeman. The policeman pointed the way Harold was going anyway. And he walked along with the moon, wishing he was in his room and in bed. Then, suddenly, Harold remembered. He remembered where his bedroom window was when there was a moon. It was always right around the moon. And then Harold made his bed. Got in it. And he drew up the covers. And Harold dropped off to sleep. That's a story I really love because it shows a child using one crayon to make so many creative ideas. The next thing I want to talk about is what we're going to make together. For this project, you need just one crayon. And my crayon is purple, just like Harold's. And you need one piece of paper. Pause the video right now if you need to get those two things. You all set? Okay. Now, how do I use this crayon safely and independently? Well, I know that when I use my crayon, I only draw on my paper. I know that I don't peel off this crayon unless I use this whole tip. I know that I use a gentle hand. If you press too hard, the crayon could break by accident. Our assignment is to make a drawing with just one color, but to do something really creative and careful and thoughtful, just like Harold did. Harold came up with so many creative ideas using just one color. When your drawing is done, you're welcome to share it with me you can either share it through email or through Flipgrid. And when you get this video, I'm going to make sure that you have information about email and Flipgrid as well. I can't wait to see your creative drawings. Thanks so much for joining us for art. Bye now.